this is example number five. In this question, he says that prove that the quadrilateral formed, if possible, by the internal bisectors of any quadrilateral is cyclic. So that means uh, we are given a quadrilateral. Let's say if I draw any quadrilateral, this is any quadrilateral, and then I'm drawing the internal angle bisectors of these quadrilateral. That means, let's say first name this quadrilateral as A, B, C, D, and we have to draw the internal uh, angle bisector. That means I'm drawing the bisector of angle A. Make sure you bring, bring it that, uh, till down and this say is the bisector of angle B. Now, similarly, we are going to make, make bisectors of angle D and angle C. Let's say this is bisector of angle D and I'm going to make the bisector of angle C. So let's see, this being the bisector of angle C. So we have uh, made a quadrilateral, let's say name this point as P, Q, Q, this is point R, and say this point as S. Now we have to prove this quadrilateral, that is PQRS, the quadrilateral which is formed by the bisectors of the interior angle. That means we have to prove this quadrilateral as a cyclic. That means you know that a quadrilateral, in order to prove a quadrilateral cyclic, what we actually prove? We prove any two pairs of opposite angles as supplementary. Say, if I prove these two angles as supplementary, like P plus R as 180 degree, it proves that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. So for that, we are going to use the property that is angle sum property here. Now for that, what I'm going to do is that these are the bisectors. So I'm naming this angle, say one, this being two, this as three, and this as angle four. Now, what do we know here that the sum of all angles, interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. That means angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. That is angle sum property. Now, as you know that uh, here, A, P, A, R, B, R, these are the bisectors, right? This being the bisector, this being the bisector. So I can say that I can replace angle A with twice angle one, right? Because here this angle is equal to this. So angle A is twice of angle one. So I'm replacing angle A as twice of angle one. I can replace angle B as twice of angle two. I can replace angle C as twice of angle three. And likewise, I can replace this angle that is D as twice of angle four is equal to 360 degree. Now, if I take two common, what do we get? We get angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four is equal to 360 degree. On transposing to the other two to the other side, we'll get angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four is equal to 360 divided by two, that is 180 degree. Now consider triangle ABC, this triangle ABC. Now what do you know that the sum of three angles of this triangle is 180 degree, right? The sum of three angles of this triangle is 180 degree. So I can write, I can write angle one plus angle two as 180, you can write this as this angle one plus angle two, right? Let's understand what I'm talking about. This is angle one and two I'm talking about. I can replace this one and two with 180 minus angle R. As you know, that sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. That means we have this triangle ABC and we know the sum of these three, angle one plus angle two plus angle R is 180 degrees. So I can replace one plus two as 180 minus R. 
Now coming to the next part. Here also you can see that angle 3 and angle 4. I can replace angle 3 and angle 4 here. I can replace this the same manner. I can write this angle 3 and angle 4. I can write this as 180 minus angle P. It's because same reason here this is a triangle and the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So if you know these two angle as four, this four and three and this being P, so three plus four will be 180 minus P and that is equal to 180 degree. Now we can reduce this as you can see here that uh, this 180 and 180 get cancelled. And if I transpose this angle R and angle P to the other side, so what we are left, 180 to the left hand side, transposing minus P to the right, it's positive P. And similarly, transposing R minus R to the other side, it's going to be angle R. Now check here what we did here. I have proved here that angle P plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. So I can write, I can write here that PQR is, is a cyclic quadrilateral. This is because we have proved here as opposite angles supplementary. So since opposite angles are supplementary, therefore PQR is, is a cyclic quadrilateral.